Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech, and today we're going to take a look at the Zag Invisible Shield for the iPhone 4. So I've had the Invisible Shield, or the Zag, on the iPhone 4 for some time. Now I've reviewed some other Zag products before, uh, but it's been some time, and they were a lot more difficult to install or apply just because uh, they were more curved surfaces, and when you have a flat surface, it makes it easier. So um, as far as installation and application goes, this is leaps above uh, others as far as ease of installation. Now. Um, do I like it? Yes and no. Some of the advantages would be, uh, now it's scratch resistant. Um, you keep the thin profile of the phone. Uh, you have, um, you know, a little bit more grip because it's vinyl or, or rubber covering. Um, and you get to keep the aesthetics or the, the original look of the phone. And that part I really like. Um, that's my personal reason of using it or liking it. Um, However, there are disadvantages. Some of them are, you have to put it on wet and some people are nervous about that, although I don't see that as an issue. Um, there is an orange peel effect, and for a little bit more close in depth, let me show you that and we'll come back in a moment. So here we are, I uh, wanted to show you the orange peel effect that this Zag does have on your phone. Let me see if I can show you that. You see how the, hit, the light hits the front and it has that ripple to it? That's that orange peel we're talking about. Um, it's, it's really kind of uh, annoying without the screen on. When the screen is on on the front, you can't see it at all. Um, but on the back, you can always see it. If you hold it in the right light, um, you can kind of see it there. Kind of hard to show you, but like, see right in this corner here, there's that ripple going on. If you can see that, you know what I mean. However, uh, it's holding up well and not collecting any, any lint or anything. It must be just on properly. So just wanted to show you that quick. So you've seen the uh, orange peel, or hopefully you were able to see that. Uh, that's one of the advantages, or disadvantages rather, of, of the Zag covering on the iPhone 4. Now, um... There are some other things too. If you don't put this on just right, you will get some lint buildup around the edges because of uh, the stickiness of it. You may get some air bubbles under it or little micro bubbles if you haven't put it on perfectly. And um, I still have a little bit of a line there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of a line right on top of the earphone there, uh, left from bubbles or or an incomplete adhesion or something like that. Um, so that's the disadvantages. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I think it's a great product. I've used them for a while. They stand behind their claims. Uh, if this, I actually had one on a 3GS. <laughs> sorry, it was fly or something. I had one on a 3GS that actually um, fell and got a nick in the Zag Shield, but it saved the screen of the 3GS, and that was before Gorilla Glass. So it saved the screen. I emailed Zag and said, hey, this broke, um, what can you do? They sent me a new one right away. I didn't have to pay for shipping, I didn't have to send anything back. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's one of the disadvantages of filming outside. Um, so I didn't have to send anything back and you know, it, I, I think they're a pretty good product just because of that. So the uh, Zag I'm really impressed with, there are competitors to the Zag we'll be taking a look at, but. Uh, or, or you may know about, but as far as the invisible shield goes, uh, I, I definitely think it's worth the money. Uh, it will protect your phone. It will keep everything nice and uh, nice and scratch free until the day you sell it or want to get rid of it. This is Aaron with Zolotech. I'll see you next time.